Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ninja XTX, and I'm back to share another video with you guys. This video is actually less than 766, and I will turn around the screaming series, and we're continuing on with our lesson in the Arabian Scimitar and American Boy Knife um, free flow. If you'll pardon me for a moment, I'm going to go get another boy knife right quick so that it fits in with this lesson. Alright, hold on. Now, to fit in with this lesson, what we're going to do is something a little bit different. Ordinarily, as you've seen, we pretty much use both these tools as a slashing as a slashing apparatus. Both tools can be used for slashing, yes, but they can also be used for pain compliance. I know what you guys are thinking as Ninja XTX finally lost his mind. No. If you'll give me a moment, I'll explain that. Now. Let's say your attacker is already slashing at you. Now, you backed up and you're going to stay backed up because the second he sees you advance. He's going to change his technique. And he's going to change his way of approaching you. Now, you haven't shown him any of your tools of the trade. So, as he comes in, Boom, that boy knife hits the groin. And it goes in further. As he starts to come down, you twist. Now, as you twist the boy knife, he's going to forget about coming. He's going to forget about coming in to get you easier for that pain to stop. So, if he continues, then you have the scimitar to meet his throat as he comes down. But, Will he want to continue to fight with you twisting that boy? Because, and here's where it gets graphic, because the further you drive that boy in, the more compliant he's going to be. Basically, when you drive this boy into him, you have the the upper hand because you then have a handle to move the person where you want him to go. Okay, then boy, let's say I drive the boy into the groin. 
And then, if he starts to put up a fight, I twist. And I pull it in to the scimitar. Same thing goes for the scimitar. Let's say my attacker is attacking. I stab the groin with the scimitar. I twist. I bring the boy knife up. I pull it in to the boy knife and I say, hey man, if you want this to continue, we can, but you won't like it. At that time, he'll either back off and get medical attention or you will have to take it to the lethal level. This drill is specifically for if you feel as if your life is being threatened and there's no other alternative. Always look for the second alternative, but when there is none, be efficient. I hope that made sense for you guys. If it didn't, let me know and I'll be happy to post a breakdown in an upcoming lesson. Please take care of yourself and each other one word one love if you guys have any questions comments or requests please send them to my youtube account or if you know how to get in touch with me on my personal facebook please do so there thank you guys for watching bye bye for now